All right, this is the second part, the installation of the performance intake. This is by Two Brothers Exhaust, okay? Two Brothers Racing. This is called the Comp V. It's killer, billet, one piece. Uh, you can take this center piece and then put this one so you get a little bit more flow. Uh, and you have the nice Comp S stainless steel pipe two to one with the carbon fiber tip. Killer, man, look at the flow out of that coming out. This is a competition race performance type thing only so make sure when you install it on your bikes that you are abiding by your state laws all right hit us up okay let's go ahead and pop this beautiful setup in there it's nice let's go all right now that we removed everything there is one more thing we have to remove it's uh exhaust mounting bracket for the rear piece for the silencer that uh we're going to replace it with a new one that's uh provided by two brothers so there you are another another piece that you can sell for parts and this is what it should look like so we can install the uh, TBR bracket okay this is the hardware that comes with the two brothers exhaust this is the bracket that's gonna hold their muffler these are the two brand new flanges springs clips bolts and a spring puller also comes with some Loctite and some anti-seize that you're gonna put on the O2 sensor. All right, so it's very simple. The front header is gonna be this one here. That's more of a straight across. And the one that's for the back rear cylinder has a curve into it, okay? One thing that we do gotta make sure is that we slide these flanges into the pipes first and make sure that this part that has the actual cutout step is facing inwards towards the cylinder because that's where the gasket is going to fit it's exactly the same size don't forget this is what the header should look like with the flange in it it actually slides back so be careful i already installed the actual exhaust gasket on there okay so now you're going to have to use your stock hardware which is the two uh acorn nuts to go ahead and do this front piece remember same tools the 12 millimeter socket what i generally like to do is first reach everything by hand Okay, make sure the nuts and bolts that the, the acorn nuts reach. Get them flush just by hand and then go ahead and tighten them up a little bit with the socket without over tightening it because you want this to still be able to move, okay? You have to be able to position it. With the rear, you're gonna reach, you're gonna put the exhaust gasket and then reach your bolts too. Again, same thing as the front. Don't leave it so tight so you can be able to Move it a little bit, okay? This is what they're gonna come together like here at the bottom, okay? And we have the uh, muffler, the exhaust, this beautiful stainless steel carbon fiber ready to go ahead and set up. Before we do that, we still gotta put the actual mounting bracket from Two Brothers that I got right here. All right, so I already went to install the actual bracket for the muffler, okay? It actually says to use a 10 by 60 bolt for the top, which is a pretty long bolt. None of the OEM ones fit. They're actually too long or too short, so I actually had to provide one for this customer. And the bottom one is provided by Two Brothers. So keep an eye out that caution. The 10 by 60 bolt you're gonna need. It's a 1.0 pitch, okay? To get that bracket mounted correctly. Now let's go ahead and start lining everything up. This is what the exhaust looks like right now. Okay, beautiful. Everything's loose, and we're not going to install or tighten up anything until I get the O2 sensor input it. You got to use the anti-seize lubricant here and make sure that you connect it. If you're running a power commander, which we are going to do, it's a whole different step, but for now, this is just without. As we're in this process, also do not forget to put the uh, 516s bolt clips in here. I put one in, the other one's here. So that's backwards. Slide in like that. So it lines up with the hole for the bolt, which is gonna actually go across into these two. And those two bolts are provided by two brothers. Also, you gotta put on your Loctite on the bolts. Make sure that you're good to go. This is half of the bolt. Also, don't forget to put the anti-seize lube on the O2. Just a little bit on the threads. Don't touch the rest of the stuff. Okay, also provided. 
go ahead and twist it on. Tighten it up with your crescent wrench and reconnect everything back to the stock connection, okay? In this case, to tighten up those inside bolts, you're gonna need a ratchet. I got a, an open end, you can have an open end wrench, but this one has a little ratchet in it, so you just don't over tighten them, just reach them so that there's movement, okay? This one, I, and we'll go ahead and start tightening up the front. Okay, just don't forget to put the springs on the inside. For the header, okay, it's two of them. You can see right there, spot for the other. You're gonna use a spring puller for that, which makes it real easy. First, you hook it on the back side, grab it, and then pull it across. Once again, there's the other spring. I use my finger to kind of hold the spring there, and then pull it, the spring puller, you can see there, and then that's it. Voila, we got two springs in there. Now we're set to make sure that we can tighten up the headers and the silencer. One more thing, we are going to have to remove these three bolts and this heat shield here, which will be the stock one that goes back on the pipe. And then they provide you one for the bottom, which I'll show you. But you will need to take the bolts off of this piece here or this piece so you can use them to lock down the two brothers heat shield. So there they are, a total of five, three for the top, two for the bottom. This is the heat shield provided by Two Brothers right here, which is going to be for the bottom. And we're going to use the OEM bolts to install all of them, so a total of five. Okay, don't forget to put a little Loctite on them right now. Make sure you first reach them by hand. Okay, there's your stock heat shield. And the same for the bottom, then we're going to tighten them up. One thing, make sure that when you're putting the heat shield for the uh, Two brothers that you make sure it's the right way. One side's longer, one side's shorter. Now what we're gonna do is uh, install the TBR Comp V air intake. It's very nice. Billet aluminum, the whole deal. But one thing we are gonna need from the stock intake is the O-rings. Alright, so with a pick, pull out the O-rings. Okay, make sure you don't lose them. And then what we're going to do, we're going to replace them into the aftermarket one, okay? Let me do the same with this one. Okay, install them over here. And we're also going to need this rubber grommet with this little spacer. Okay, take them off and put them on the other one. Alright, there it is. Very simple. There's a grommet. With the spacer, make sure you push it in. That's so you won't crush the actual O-ring when you tighten it up from the other side. And now we're ready to go install, all right? And we're gonna need to take this cover off so we could be able to lock the bolts in through this side. All right, in this case, I am gonna put this side, filter side, you know, the this intake side out. It'll draw more air. And I actually took off the actual solid billet one. So it's just a preference. Of what you want and then it's gonna actually be a little bit louder with that setup on the inside we have the allens which is three of them that are gonna go ahead and lock into the intake manifold on the top let me show you all right so now we're ready to go there's the intake we're gonna go ahead and install okay the two brothers and we're gonna don't forget we got to connect this hose right here and the three allens okay so let's do that. There it is. Hose connected. And then we got the three Allens there ready to go. Good thing uh, two brothers put a little lock on the back. And we set them in there. Let me go ahead and get the gun. All right. Everything's nice and tight. There's the three Allens. Okay. We got a bushing over here. Which is where we're going to put the bolt. Tighten it up, that secures that. And then we gotta put on the cover and the intake set. It's pretty simple. Okay, there you go. This is what this is gonna go in. Make sure that your torque specs, you check them out with uh, your Yamaha dealer to make sure that you get the correct specs for the actual intake and the exhaust mounting bolts for the headers. All right. All right, putting on the cover for the air filter. Make sure you go in a crisscross pattern. Reach them first. 
Okay, that way you make sure that it seats on there evenly. Make sure all the way around that it actually looks that it's nice, flat and flush. And there it is, there's your intake and here's your exhaust. So if you went ahead and followed this video, how we did the removal and the install, this is what the outcome should be. A beautiful intake that's gonna give a lot of high flow. Nice, beautiful stainless steel, two to one exhaust. Stainless steel TBR, carbon fiber tip. With all that flow, man, that is ridiculous. Totally changes this bike around. It's gonna add some horsepower. Gotta fire it up, you're gonna notice that it's gonna smoke a little bit, it's normal. You gotta make sure you wipe this down with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, make sure you get all the fingerprints off of it. And it will be normal for the header to turn a little golden brown at the tips. If you hear any leaks, that means that your exhaust gaskets were not set in evenly, but you shouldn't if you followed everything correctly. And the intake will flow and sound really nice. Okay, next step from here guys, this concludes our intake and exhaust removal and install to a performance setup. Now for this intake and exhaust to perform correctly, we need to do the power commander. So our next setup is gonna be the power commander install for the Yamaha 950 SCR, okay, scrambler. That's gonna be our next video. Stay tuned, because without this, you're not gonna get the performance that you want. And this is a really trick install, comes with all the wiring and all the whole deal. So before I fire this bike up with the exhaust so you can hear it, I'm gonna go ahead and install the Power Commander. So stay tuned here with us, thank you.